So the recent Nintendo Direct just concluded. I mean, like, just concluded. Just now. And you guys see the damn title. I'm not even, I'm not even going to waste any time. You see the title. You see the thumbnail. You see the title in the upper left-hand corner right here. I'm going to react to this trailer of the Metroid Prime remaster. And then I'm going to get, towards the end, I'm going to get to, you know, talking about my initial thoughts and all that and how I thought about the Direct and all that. Let's, let's just, let's just... Oh my god! Y'all don't know how excited I am for this. Oh, look at Chozo Ruins! Magmar Caverns. Fendrana Drifts looking immaculate. What do y'all know about that? Oh my god, look at this game! So right here, I wanted to pause it. Ooh, perfect too. This is something I noticed while watching this trailer immediately. Look at the neons. Look at how bright those oranges and the blues pop. That is what's going to elevate this game tenfold. I didn't think this game could get any better. If I hadn't said it already, this is my favorite game of all time. Of all time. Of all time. Metroid Prime 1 is my favorite game of all time. So this is going to elevate that game tenfold. Oh my god, I just cannot wait to play this freaking game. Look at... Oh, man. Look at the wave beam. Thardis. Ooh, the homie Ridley. Oh my god. God, it remastered, baby. It's remastered, y'all. The first Metroid Prime game, originally released on the Nintendo GameCube system, has been remastered for Nintendo oh, Switch. Look at Samus. Explore I am so excited for this. Samus Aran. But beware, there's more look to at this the lava. Planet than the way it the eye. Ooh, illuminates the key off to of the adventure. rocks. They'll help you discover info. I like that too. So. They, you could tell they've put in quality, little quality of life updates. So this is a screenshot from the original showing the same kind of red uh, scanning thing, right? And you see the scan icon, how it has the little block in the inside and all that. I don't mind that they made it like this and they keep it simple. I don't mind that. I think it's a nice touch. And I think it's nice with the theme they're going with, with the nice neons. I don't mind it. Progress. I like it. Little quality of life updates that are gonna make this game, like I said, somehow better than it was. Situation: A certain visor may be required. When hostile creatures attack, keep them in your sights with a lock-on feature. Oh then, my with God! Look at this game, man. Bombs and more. The YouTube uploads. The trailers don't give it justice. New dual stick I'll be using my pro controller when I play it. While separately changing your point of view. That's cool that they kept that though, like on the Wii. Control style that recreates the feel Flag of the room. original game, among other control options. Explore Talon 4 with your preferred playstyle. Oh yeah! The digital version of Metroid Prime Remastered launches on Nintendo eShop later today. The today. The version of the game will be available in stores February 22nd. February. That's the whole trailer. February 22nd. It's releasing as far as the physical edition, which I will be getting, and I will be getting the digital edition. I have to. I have to get everything Metroid. I got two collector's editions of Metroid Dread. I got two. One I paid like two, three hundred dollars for because that's at that time they were still scalping people like crazy. So they sold out quick. And uh, so I got one of those and I got one that I used that I opened and then the other one's sealed, still sealed, still unopened. So I'm definitely going to be getting both of these right now. I can't get today. I can't get the digital edition of Metroid Prime Remastered, unfortunately, or else I would be dead broke. And I still got to be smart at the end of the day, you know. I love it, but I'm not going to be dumb about how I, you know, spend my money. At least not trying to break myself. I still got to eat for the next couple of days. And I would literally not be able to eat if I decided to buy this game. Some people is worth it. Eh, I could wait till Friday. I go wait till Friday. But I will definitely be playing this on the channel as soon as I get this game. And don't worry, I will be still completing the Dead Space remake on the channel as well. I got a whole bunch of episodes I got to upload and edit and do all that. So that still will be coming. 
it's funny too because when I initially saw or when I was initially watching the direct, I was in the middle of doing my math homework or my math studying, right? So I was studying and boom, this comes up and I'm just like, okay, you know, screw the math homework. That's less important right now. I got to focus on the homegirl Samus. You got to understand she's been with me since four or five years old. That's when I first played this game. And I got to give her that love if you know what I mean. So I had to stop everything I was doing, pay attention to the screen and immediately get on my computer and upload this video as soon as I can. I am so freaking excited. Did I mention that this is my favorite game of all time yet? Have I mentioned that already? If I haven't, uh, this is my favorite game of all time. Uh, so if the leakers are true, right? If the leaks are true, they said that Metroid Prime Remaster will be coming out first and then the other two will come out later. They will not be getting the full remastered touch-ups, which sucks. They'll be getting more of like an HD touch-up. It does suck because I wish Nintendo would just go that extra mile to show those other games love too because why not? Why not? You know, why not? I don't get it. They should. They still should have done that. Um, I would love to see Metroid Prime 2 and Prime 3 fully remastered like Prime 1. But, I mean, it's bittersweet. I can't complain too much. My favorite game of all time, if I haven't mentioned that yet, got remastered. So I'm ecstatic. It, you know how annoying it is when everyone else in that comment section is getting everything they want? I'm reading the comments and I'm saying, oh, Pikmin 4. Oh, look at that. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is getting new DLC. Oh, look, Bayonetta Origins is coming out. Oh, Advanced Wars. We're getting that too. And then they're getting Zelda information, all this. And then we're just like, okay, where's Metroid? And then it finally happens. Let me know how you guys feel about all this in the comments. The Nintendo Direct was pretty lackluster leading up to this point. It was. It kind of, it did suck. Not kind of, it did, it sucked. It was trash. And then the last like 10, 15 minutes is what really, I think even 10 minutes is what really, you know, pushed it in overdrive. We got information on Advanced Wars, Zelda, Obviously, the Metroid Prime remaster. We got Pikmin news. That was towards the beginning of the the direct, but it was still a good direct, though. The fact that we got these big heavy hitters, Kirby, Pikmin, Bayonetta, uh, the Origins, and then we got Xenoblade Chronicles three news, uh, Metroid Prime remastered, Zelda. Did I mention Zelda already? Kirby. Did I mention Kirby already? If not Kirby, and got some others that I had didn't mention. Splatoon 3 DLC, if anyone's big on that. Let me know what you guys feel in the comments below. If this is one you're really looking forward to, if this is one that really you were waiting for like me, I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. I'm flabbergasted. Word of the day. Learn it. Get it down. Because that's going to be the theme of how I'm feeling right now. No, but I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is insane. I was not expecting this, dude. Oh my god. What? We're getting the Resident Evil 4 remastered or remake. We got the Dead Space remake. We got the Resident Evil 2 remake. We're getting the Silent Hill remakes. We got the Metroid Prime remaster. It is a great game, great game for time. <laughs> it is a great time for games right now. If only Dragon Ball Super Season 2 dropped this year, it'd be a banger-ass year. Dragon Ball Super Season 2 drops this year. This year's unstoppable. Period. I don't want to hear it. And also, fight me. This is game of the year right here. For me, period. Boop. No other game's gonna win. There's some other good ones, though. Don't get me wrong. Spider-Man 2. Uh, Zelda. And then you got uh, Starfield, which might be coming out this year. Hogwarts, which just came out, or which was coming out Friday. And then we got Atomic Heart. Um, we got Chernobyl, or Stalker 2 Chernobyl. We got Redfall, which I'm going to put on the channel because that looks cool. And then we got a couple others that are also going to look great. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I'm talking a lot. Don't want to drag this on for too long. Let me know how you guys feel. Did you guys think this was an L or a W for the Nintendo Direct? Obviously, W all the way. I think this was amazing. And I can't wait to play this on the channel with you guys and experience this. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.